by a change of season or anything like that. All those trees are dead. They've been dead for about three years or so. It's uh, caused by the mountain pine beetle, a little bug that's uh, naturally occurring. It's uh, about the size of a grain of rice and it, uh, it bores into the bark of the tree and then cuts off the tree's nutrient supply so then the tree slowly starts to death because it's no longer feed itself. Um, so yeah, when they get to that stage, they'll be dead for three years. And any sort of lighter colored pine tree is already affected and will die eventually. Uh, it currently affects about 60% of Jasper National Park's pine forest. It's going to go up to about 90% for the next three years or so. So you can just even if you have a look at it, you can see all the red nests in the forest. Um, they can't really stop it, it's just sort of going to happen. Um, and then eventually it'll taper off. But uh, it'll take about 15 years for the forest to uh, start regenerating. Um, there is uh, some upsides to it, is removing a lot of the older trees that shouldn't be here just because we've not had a fire in a while, because uh, we keep putting them out. Um, but you know, at the turn of the century we sort of realised that fires are good for a forest and we shouldn't be putting them out. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, it's removing those trees, which is uh, allowing for younger growth to happen, so a younger forest is a healthier forest. And also it's promoting diversity as well, so uh, yeah, those trees will, uh, other sorts of trees like deciduous trees will uh, take their place and it'll be yeah, more diversity. It's a good thing, because hopefully everything doesn't burn down in the process, so uh, hooray. Yeah, we're uh, just coming up on our tower now, we're going to uh, swing a little bit, so just make sure you're holding on to something, or maybe someone you trust. Hold me, hold me. Don't trust anyone that's moving this corner here. Uh, I think the fireworks are banned just because of the fire hazard. Because of all the dry wood. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just uh, back past the other tram. So when we pass it, it'll be the halfway point of the journey. It'll also be the highest point off the ground at 63 meters. So now's a good time to, you know, take a look down and conquer your fears of heights or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we can see some of the mountains uh, to over to the east is the Malene mountain range, the big one in the centre there, that's Takara, the one on the east is Signal Mountain. Signal Mountain used to have a fire watchtower on it, but it burnt down, so a little bit ironic. Oh my gosh. Then we've got the Collins Range over to the northeast, so those mountains are the lighter coloured ones over there. They're about 30 million years younger than the rest of the mountain ranges around here, that's why they're a different colour, they've got less granite in them. Uh, over to the northwest is the Victoria Cross mountain range. Those mountains are named after metal recipients of the cross from World War I and World War II. Aside from the one on the end there, they uh, ran out of names and they're just called a pyramid because it looks like a pyramid. So, yeah, a creative name, right? Mm. We're now getting into the Alpine zone now, which uh, is where most of the temperature change occurs. So, if it feels like it's getting colder, it's so It's uh, about 5 to 10 degrees uh, different from average up in this zone. Than the yeah, it's uh, just because of the conditions up here, trees have well, started to grow. Uh, anything, so any tree that's about an hour height has uh, been picture. growing for about 200 years. It's and then uh, uh, flowers take about 40 to 50 years to bloom up here as well. So if you are picking flowers, you are walking down the mountain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, walk, walk, walk. Maybe so you guys at our upper station, we've got a 1.5 on the hiking trail that takes about 45 minutes to the lower one way 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 to um, I think it's about a half an hour, 40 minute wait to get down at the moment. It's pretty busy, so if you need to be somewhere, just allow time for that. It's just, uh, you know, whenever you're ready. Um, so you can spend as long as you want up here. Last tram down is at around quarter to 10, 10 o'clock, so, uh, you know. If you stay there longer, I'll just see you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't like this.
<laughs> are we are we stopping? Um Carry out yet. Anyone who didn't pay the premium tickets is all about now. <laughs> what is happening? I'm gonna carry a moment now. And if any of you are wondering why those lakes over there are like much more blue than the other ones, it's because they're glacial fed. They get their water from the ice fields about 100 kilometers away. Yeah. It's, that, it's the silt that settles in the lake. It's like soft sun and creates that blue color. So the brighter the sun, the brighter the lake. Oh my gosh, I don't like when we do this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> 